Andy here. And obviously you guys using OBS always want to make sure that you've got all the craziest stuff, uh, but you end up using a lot of system resources and then you drop in frames and it's all going wrong. But today I'm having that same issue or I want to not have the same issue, so I'm kind of going through it. So I thought, let's make a video whilst I'm streaming live at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. So come and visit me and ask questions and help me get partner. That'd be awesome. If we get partner by TwitchCon EU next year, uh, I'm going to get dressed up in drag uh, by the Nikki Stones. She's going to get me dressed up in drag, which is going to be insane. That's going to be hilarious, right? But anyway, into it. So there is a plugin uh, that is incredible inside of OBS, which is, if I show you here, sorry for the inception, and I go down to, uh, where are you, monkey, source profiler. This tells us everything that's using resources on our scenes. Right? How crazy is this? So I can see, because these are highlighted, you got blue, uh, yellow, and then red. Obviously, blue's like, all right, it's using a bit. Yellow, obviously, it's using a bit more. Red's like, eh, eh, don't, <laughs> you're in, obviously, frame drop territory. Uh, so you can see all these are currently being rendered. There's a lot of different ways that we can sort, uh, sort through this stuff and everything like that, uh, which is absolutely cool. So you can find out exactly what it is that's causing the issues. So if I say this one there just went quite high, so I'm going to press this drop down and I can see all the different scenes just here. I can even search. So if I want to just go uh, always on DSK, it'll search always on DSK and stuff like that. And you can turn off only active so you can see all your sources. Uh, but obviously only active means they're the only ones that are active right now. Uh, and it allows us to find what the culprits are uh, that's causing the, the kind of maybe issues on your stream and stuff. For instance, I've got background removal on at the minute, but if I was to switch to a different scene, so if I go back here for a second and maybe I go to my other one, which is this one, uh, using my new shader, which I've created, which is the liquid glass shader, which is really nice. You can grab it uh, early access for my members uh, that help support the channel. I, I create loads of tools for you guys, like all the widgets that you can see on my stream right now. Um, and if I open the uh, source profiler again, it will come up with different results. So I'll be able to see, right, what's well, using more uh, CPU here? We can organize it by total and then find out. So it's this top one, always on DSK, what is doing it? So Polaroid Picture, because I'm using an older version of it, is actually active, even though it's not visible on my stream right now. Like the Polaroid Picture isn't there, but apparently it's using 10%. So that is like, it doesn't need to be doing that. So what I can do now is go into maybe the, the code or whatever I've got that's triggering these effects to tell it, right, make sure it turns off afterwards by disabling that scene and then it won't be active. So if I go to this always on DSK scene that I've got, which is like all my different effects, and I just go and turn off the Polaroid picture, for instance, just here, you'll see it's no longer there, and we're using less resources. How good is that? Such a good way of like keeping your stream focused and, and not using resources that you don't need to use when they're not active. But obviously, you need to put it into your your code or whatever you've designed inside a streaming bot or your other bots uh, and make sure that it does turn it off, turn it back on. It's really important you do that. To get your hands on this plugin, it is just... Um, Ignore that. Ignore. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, it's just here. It's OBS Source Profiler by Exceldro. Uh, it's not on the OBS forums at the moment, but you can download it from his GitHub, which I'll leave all the links in the description and all that jazz. You just click on Releases, and then you can choose which one you want. I have added it to the Stream Up OBS plugin, which is literally the best plugin that you need for OBS because I can say that because I, I, I made it. I'm a, yeah, I'm just being biased. Uh, but it will check all your OBS plugins if they're out of date and there's a bunch of other cool features in there as well. If you want to find out more, I'll leave a link down below and all that jazz again. Uh, but yeah, make sure you do check that out. Come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy And also if you want to help support my content and keep me full time doing this stuff to help you guys and get yourself a bunch of freebies that you can use on your stream to even generate revenue, then please consider joining a member at andylippy.co.uk. And I'll see you over on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Much love. Put your rug over the stone.